Hey, uh, what's up, Cody? Not much, man. What's up with you? Oh, not a lot. What's uh, what's new? I don't know, man. Let's ask the eight ball. Welcome, Welcome back to uh, Ask the Eight Ball podcast uh, with Eric Marshall and my co-host Cody the King. Are you sure? Why am I the co-host? You're shorter. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, that's really the only reason. And you do <laughs> maybe five uh, percent of the humor on the show. Yeah. You'd be like a you'd per be, square inch. You'd be I like a, you're you. Andy Richter. Actually, I decided I'm the co-host and Cody's the guest tonight. <laughs> Is Perfect. That how it works? Perfect. I can. <laughs> Perfect. That leads us to our guest for tonight, Cody King, and uh, <laughs> actually our co-host, uh, the owner of downtown's best basement bar, voted uh, six years in a row, five years in a row. It has. Yeah. Um, also, the owner of the next year's current favorite new bar, Chummy. Also downtown Des Moines. Hey, that's me. Eric Hartung. He's our tallest guest today, I'm betting. Today? To, to date. T- to date. Okay. Well, today, I too. Knew, I knew today. Both of them, yes. Cody might date you. We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, $20, $20, right? 2020 yeah. has been a tough year on him. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> uh, so what's the season two, episode seven? Seven, yeah. Ah, nice. Seven. Uh, How many episodes are in a uh, season? We did 20. We did 22 for season one. Yeah, 22. Am I your first guest to be in season one and two? Correct. You are. That's good to be me. Correct. You were on the season finale of, se- yeah. of uh, season one. Barely made the cut. Now, David Prince has been on two, three episodes, maybe? He's done two, but we've had three. And then he, like, he jumped do. on three. But you're our first uh, two-time video. Oh, wow. Video yeah. guest. Yeah. That's because I'm excellent looking. Yeah. Yeah, you got to bring the beauty. Be beauty for brains, right? Yeah. Perfect. Um, so throughout the show, I know you know, but we'll tell the audience anyways. We do uh, the Kyle McLean Low Life Piece of Shit of the Week Award. Got, I've got a couple nominees. Marshall's yep. got a couple nominees. Yep. You can, if, if you have any, great. If not, think of something. I think some, I do. Uh, we also do a segment called The Blitz. This week it's Cody's turn. He'll throw out uh, five or six rapid-fire questions at both of us. You'll answer, then I'll answer, and then he'll compare. Uh, also, we do the name game, Who Is? And uh, we're going to go through your uh, some of your old tweets. Perfect. I'm not much of a, a tweeter. No, but I noticed. It's from, it's from yeah. a while ago. Yeah. I've got uh, <laughs> some old pictures from Facebook that I want to ask That's about, fantastic. too. fantastic. And uh, other than that, we really have nothing. Great. Yeah, we're just here to Me talk either. about. <laughs> we're just here to talk about Chummy. Also, thanks to our sponsors for the week. Uh, we got a new one this week. Lola's. They're teaming up with Bebop's. We're gonna do the hot and cold challenge. We will get into that here in a yeah, little bit. Yeah, check out the. Uh, we got six Lola's flavors there. They have their new packets now. Yep. And so then uh, you know, got the Bebop's then you number keep, one burger in Des Moines. Number keep, burger in Iowa. Keep your hot sauce in your purse. There you go. Hey, you get a little fanny pack. You never know when you're gonna need some hot sauce. Do you have a fanny pack? Very. Very underrated uh, accessory. <laughs> what is your? Back. Is that your favorite accessory? Uh, yeah, Tiff's my favorite accessory. <laughs> if she, and if Tiff's not watching, a uh, fanny pack's my favorite accessory. <laughs> if twenty twenty was an accessory, what would it be? Oh, Cody King. Oh, wow, that's that's like no. I'd probably say like the a, third uh, nicest thing you ever said to me. I'd say a wallet chain. Jane. That was my favorite, yeah. favorite accessory. Yeah, those are fantastic. You I've never had one, but I always. Oh, I was going to say you both have had one. No, no, I could never pull the trigger. I, sh- I didn't have the buckle budget. Yeah, say, I didn't shop with the buckle yeah. enough. <laughs> Did you ever play the buckle game? What's the buckle game? Where you? Oh, I know it. Where you walk in the buckle and you try and make it all the way to the back of the store and back out before any associate can come up and try and sell you. <laughs> I've heard of this. I never played. I, a, I didn't shop at the buckle much growing up. It's a tough game. I try not to do it ever because then I end up feeling like I need to buy something. Yeah. And I don't want to ever buy anything. I have the, the same rule with the Copper Cup, though. Nobody knows this. <laughs> but if you can walk down to the basement, the lower level, and back out past the jukebox without my staff saying hi, when it's happy hour or well, not it's not on yeah, yeah, Saturday night. It's not crazy. Yeah. Not when yeah. DJ Eric oh, Marshall's there. I will be an unpleased manager. Who nice. is the... Uh, Best DJ there, DJ Eric Marshall or DJ No Touch? I can answer this for you. Brett B. when he fills in. I was going to say, <laughs> Brett B. has recently filled in yes. two times in the last so, okay, three, who's, six, who's five years. So, okay, who's the second best? Taylor Gonzalez, Brett B., or excuse me, Taylor Gonzalez, Eric Marshall, or DJ No Touch? DJ No Touch. See, I always leave when DJ No Touch comes in. <laughs> I, I just don't feel comfortable yeah, around him. Yeah, there's about to be a riffraff. Yeah, I don't like it. So he's the, he's okay. the Des Moines DJ Khaled. Like he's just <laughs> he's just bringing the heat all the time. Touches no controls, still calls himself a DJ, just yells out things. So essentially, what you do, except for you touch controls sometimes. Yeah, well, yeah, I go the old school route from uh, 
what's that? Uh, SoundCloud. I just steal mixes. <laughs> there you go. Makes it way easier. Have you ever stolen any mixes from DJ Brett B? Uh, no. Fun fact though, Brett B does actually make his own remixes that he, if you subscribe to his uh, email list, he'll send out remixes of songs that he makes personally himself. Oh yeah. It's like extended mixes, acapella mixes, stuff like that. So okay. Cool. It's, he's giving back to the community. Gotcha. Enough about the second best DJ in town. So, hard talk. I can't say Eric, I guess. <clears throat> we should have I sat have different. We could have put him in an Eric sandwich. <laughs> yeah. I have a... Me, me and Mr. Marshall here have a outstanding bet that he can tread water for 45 minutes. Yeah. How long do you think he lasts, and how easy would it be for you to beat him? Well, well I know I could beat him. To I'd, be fair, Hartung used to... He's, he's a water polo athlete. He's a Big 12 water polo athlete, correct? Or Big 10? I still only have 75% of my appendages. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, but you true. have a really great sex toy. <laughs> yeah, I do. Um, <laughs> but do I, do I think Eric can tread water for 45 minutes? I actually do not. Um, no faith. I, I'd, I'd give him. Can there be music playing? 23 during? minutes tops. 23. Can yeah, there okay. be music playing? Yeah, sure. Because if I put on some, some jams, I, I could be out there. I think I could get to 15 minutes, and that'd be max for me. So, well, it's because you have short legs. But Hartung was telling me the other day he could do it with just like one arm or one leg, like kind of just yeah. not even using. Hartung's one leg is the size of your body. <laughs> that's not that's not wrong. Well, that's that's not right though either. I'd be curious of how long I could do it, but I don't want to know that bad. Put yeah. it that way. <laughs> yeah. You know, soon enough. We'll Which do you yeah. do you have a personal record of what, how long you've done it before? I know I could do at least two hours. Two hours? Not That's a doubt. insane to me. Yeah. Jesus. After that, I'd probably want some food. Yeah. Want some oh, food? Definitely. Yeah, yeah. yeah can you, you eat while doing could it? You eat, uh, could, could you eat some bebops while... I think so. Yeah? I could in the first ten minutes. <laughs> yeah, after two hours. I don't know. No. Um, so, random switch here, here real quick. Uh, Hartung once told me the greatest rapper of all time is Pitbull. Do you still believe this? And how wow. wrong? And how wrong do you feel now? I don't feel wrong. <laughs> I mean, Pitbull he's, he's Mr. Worldwide. That's true. I, I will see. I think when I made that statement, he was either more Americanized, or that's all I knew of him. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> so now that there's a Pitbull station on XM Radio, a lot of reggaeton, a lot of yeah, a lot of that Latino beat. Yeah, and not that I hate it, but it's it's not. It doesn't put you in place of the best rapper. It does get me amped up in the morning. It does. I, so Marshall's asking this question, and I, I, who's the best rapper? And I still think it's a very valid argument to say Will Smith. Well, yeah, I mean, greatest rapper of late 1999, <laughs> perhaps, because that Will 2K album. Will was 2K. Fire. Will it 2K was might fire. be the best it song was ever fire. made. I'll fight anybody. What that about says the Fresh Prince theme song? That's like one of the most. Have you ever seen that show when it aired in primetime? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I thought that was... I'm not that young. I well, we just didn't know was. if you had those channels in Ford Dodge. Well, we do. In <laughs> Lehigh, we did. Oh, Here. my bad. <laughs> <laughs> the signal hit the bottom of the river and bounced back up to the TVs, so... <laughs> That's probably super accurate, too. Um, I want to know more... So, so uh, I want to know more about your water polo days. I remember you telling me that you played on the women's team? I, I, well, no. <laughs> All right. Um... So, I started playing in high school. I was an avid swimmer most of my childhood and high school ages. And I was pretty good, but once water polo came along, that was definitely a, a calling for me as a larger individual that I actually got to more or less fight people in a pool. <laughs> it's a pretty good deal for me. What did, a, did you fight the women? T- Only if they got You the know way. what it actually happened? It, ha- it has happened. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> you told um, me there was a story of where you got in a fight with a woman in the pool. The, the I think when you play men's water polo, there's just an underwritten code where you leave each other's swimsuits alone. Yeah. And that code does not exist when the co-eds play each other. Okay. And, and there's that, that's all it is. Yeah. And you you got to leave your junk alone. <laughs> that's fair. Yeah. I think it's fair. Cody, did you do co-ed wrestling? Uh, well, just when I wrestled your mother. Okay. Well, that's fine. Did up. you win? I always, I always, I What's always. What's the record? Like three and two? Against his mom? Oh, I don't, she said it was a twenty-second match, so I don't know what that means. <laughs> I let her. I let her pin me real quick. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, I bet. Oh, Cody, dude, so bad at jokes. Um, <laughs> so, 
obviously you've been in the bar business a long time. Long time. Started out at drink back in the day. Or before did you start before that? Oh, I did. Coconut Joe's, maybe. Before that. Oh, where, where was that before Valor that? Valor Ballroom. Nice. Yeah. I was at the Valor Ballroom doing um, snack bar, and I was somewhat illegally doing bar backing on weekends because I was not 18 years old yet. And a gentleman came in that was a bartender at Coconut Joe's for his ballroom dancing lessons on Wednesday, and I was <laughs> running the snack bar. Nice. And he decided that he wanted me as his bar back. And I thought that was a better deal than the Valor Ballroom. Okay. Which it definitely was. It turned out well for you. Yeah. So now your years of experience as a bar back, bartender, bar manager, now bar owner. I was a DJ too, remember that. DJ, yes, big J, uh, DJ uh, Big Country. Big Country Swag and DJ Generous. DJ Generous, that was at the I Uncle Buck's fight profiles, days. Yeah. I remember hearing about uh, Big Country Swag. Yeah. Uh, what, what, was, what bar was that at? That was here when, well, actually, it's this very uh, room. Chummy when, when it was when Beer Canal. Canal started here. Um, I was doing consulting or some managing for them, and there was really no such thing as a country DJ in this city yet, and I hated country music, but Heard that. we didn't Is have a country DJ, <laughs> and we couldn't find one, so I just learned to be a country music DJ, and I thought I'd at least have a cool name. How do you, how do you feel about country music now? It's still not my favorite. No? Okay. Fair enough. I, I'm, I like it better than I did 10 years ago, but... yeah. Yeah, you won't. It's not a program station on my radio. <laughs> no, put it that way. Are there any good country DJs in Des Moines right now? Yeah, off the top of my head, I can't think of a single I, one. I can't think of a single <laughs> one. Yeah. Nope. Nope. Can't think of any. Uh, the only one I can think of that's mediocre is uh, Mi- Mr. Riley Kirk. <laughs> oh, Justin Zimmerman himself. But. Okay, that's that's the only person I can think of. Like. <laughs> DJ Big Sweaty Swag. We'll call <laughs> Big <him>. Sweaty Swag. <laughs> uh, so, with being a bartender, and everything. I like to look up fun facts online, and you can tell me. Um, these are the top five bartender misconceptions that I found online. Okay. Okay. Number one, bartenders only drink fancy, elaborate cocktails. Well, that's completely false. Yeah. Yes. That's you 100% know? false. Yes. I mean, Cause 90% of the bartenders in this town drink Jameson, menthol, Rumplemints. Jaeger bombs. Jaeger bombs. That's it. That's it. I can't name a single Root cocktail. Down. That. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even like ordering fancy cocktails. I bet Kyle McLean, that low life piece of shit, he ordered yeah. fancy cocktails. Oh, yeah. 100%. If yeah. you want it a fancy like cocktail, Kyle will drink one with yep. you yep. all day, every day. Uh, number two, all bartenders are drunks. I would say that to a degree. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I that's mean, why we drink Jameson. Yeah, I mean, some, some some it depends. What you, if you compare it to your average customer, then probably not. But if you ask your, your neighborhood doctor, then he's going to say... Well, my 20 na- drinks a week is too much. My <laughs> neighborhood doctor always tells me I need to slow down for my two drinks a day I have, which yeah, is what I tell him. Which is what I he tells <laughs> yeah, exactly. He does my blood test, and my liver tells him yeah. different. Uh, number three, bartenders know how to make every drink ever, even the ones that the customer has Googled. Is this correct, Cody? No. I mean. That's because you're a bad bartender. Hard to uncommit. Yeah, every drink I ever. I actually do know how to make every drink. Every drink ever. Yeah, every drink ever. Name one right now. Go. That he doesn't know how to make? Just name a drink. Sazerac. Sazerac? Yeah. That's a tequila. <laughs> it is Boom. not. Boom. It's, a, it's from Mezcal. What's up? It is not. That's well, what, that's Google what, it. That's what Kyle McLean said. What's up? Number four, if a customer sends back their drink, we will make it weaker on the redo of it. Oh, it's false. Uh, I, I think that's false, but I mean, I, I, do. I just, I'm going to assume they're an idiot. Yeah, I, I just. Well, well you it, don't know. You ordered the wrong thing. Sometimes in, you spit in it, right? In Sean Mullen's defense, aren't most customers idiots? Well. According to Sean Mullen, According at least. Sean Mullen. Only his regulars. Yeah. Yeah. And the last one I saw, uh, which was, was weird, it said bartenders are un- uneducated because some of them come from Fort Dodge, Iowa. Hmm. I don't. That was. I don't know any. That was. That was on. That was on Cosmopolitan.com. Yeah, you read Cosmo. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I drink them too because fancy cocktails. <laughs> yeah, of course you do. Yeah. With the stiff pinky out and everything. <laughs> I would say generally bartenders are the not the most educated people. However, I always consider them the most street smart and witty and pop culture. They just know a little bit about everything instead of, right. I mean, you have them do a trigonometry quiz. No, they're not doing it. But Depends on your definition of education. Well, it's, yeah, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah, speaking of not the smartest like staff mm-hmm. member, I did invite your head bartender, Shanda, to be here tonight. For the third or fourth? Yeah, I think she got the date wrong again. Okay. So yeah, she said she'd be here. For those who don't know, Shanda, we'll put her picture up right here on the YouTube channel. Yeah. So speaking of Shanda, I know her. 
Yeah. What if you had to give her a rating of either one to ten or like an uh, A through F scale, just as a person in general? What would as you give her? As a person in general, I would probably give her. I think her heart is in the right place, and I would give her <laughs> a B to B plus. Okay. What about as a bartender? I think she's a decent bartender, and I would give her a another B plus, maybe even A minus on a good day. What about, what about bra size? <laughs> Just kidding. You don't have to answer that question. I, Sexual I harassment. <laughs> Sexual harassment. No. I didn't even know she had boobs. <laughs> Do you have any? What's the what employee would you give the highest rating to? Right now. Thanks, guys. You were late a few weeks ago, so you're like a C now. Eric Marshall is a 1099 employee, so he technically is a free agent, so I don't it's employ true. him. It's true. Obviously, he would be first if that was the case, Thank but you. it's not. Thank you. He's a he's so, free agent like Dak Prescott. I think my new bartender, like a, Emma, is Dak my... Prescott. She's your MVP she's right now? She's just MVP, and she's doing great. Yeah. I'm very impressed with her. Would you be willing to go through and just rate all of your employees? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> uh, not. No, yeah. Yeah. no, I will. Cody was going to go to the cup the other night, and then he found out Emma was working, but he didn't go because he didn't know her yet. And oh, he yeah. hadn't had a chance to creep on her on Facebook yeah. first. Oh, Jesus you Christ. I mean, yeah. You gotta have a background So he's first. like, well, I wasn't going down there, but Emma's working, so I, I feel weird because she doesn't know me yet. I feel like here's the thing, in De- especially in Des Moines, most people go to bars where they know the bartender or especially during the week at least. They're mm-hmm. going to go to the bar where they know somebody. Or you go to the bar that, that your friend owns and support his business. Yeah. But, yeah, no, whatever, Cody. So, it's so cool. if I had to yeah. rank them. I'm going to start with Brett Bachman when he's not bartending. <laughs> <laughs> um, a, a, a solid number two is Emma. A very, very close number three is Kinsey. And I have a new bar back that started last week named Luke. And I have a oh, new yeah. bar back two weeks ago that started. Oh, his okay. name is CJ. I think I met him. And then I have Shanda. Okay. So, yeah, I have four employees that have worked a total of two months and, and then, then, I, Shanda. then i have shannon that's worked for me for seven years now so that's kind of where we put it all right fair enough fair enough all right babes babes well that so being hang said, on oh go if ahead you have four employees and you're saying kinsey's third that she's like a c then is that what you're saying oh i b i, I just got to call her out i told you her you do it because she's across the street and yeah she said she might come but she said she'd come and she forgot that i texted her about it she's been hanging out with shannon too much mm-hmm. obviously it shows the only good thing I have to say about Shanda is she has brought me Taco Tico twice, back from Humboldt. Wow, she's never done that for me in seven years. Wow. Wow. Okay. Wow. Anyways, with that being said, uh, we'll kick into our fake sponsor of the week. We'll be right back after this, and we'll go into our actual sponsors. And uh, we'll also do, uh, what's that thing we do? The Blitz? Yes, thank you. The, the Blitz. Blitz. The Blitz. We'll be right back after this. I'm working overtime because I want to take my family on a nice vacation. Soon they get a call telling them I was killed in an accident. But hey, I'm wearing a busted harness here. And the company should have checked those tanks to the... It's been an accident! Run, get some help! Uh, welcome back. Uh, thanks to our fake sponsor of the week. And, uh, and those just... Those are fun every week. Yeah, those are exciting. Yeah. The best part is we never know what they are until after, <laughs> I know, I, until after we excited. watch it. Yeah. We that's, have no clue. Yeah, it's most, That's one of the most entertaining parts of the whole podcast. Well, yeah. Other than listening to me joke. Marshall's oh, well, that's hilarious. Boring. Uh, speaking of entertaining things, uh, let's go into the Blitz. Hot, hot, hot. It's, it's a Blitz. It's, it's a Blitz. It's, it's a Blitz. Yeah, it's a Blitz. Let's go. Cody, you ready for it? The Blitz. I don't think I'm ready. Okay. You're not ready? Well, we can now I am. <laughs> now I am. Okay. Cool. All right. So it's I got five questions for you, and I'm gonna ask you, and ask Marshall, and then we'll compare answers. Okay. Sound like a plan? Yep. All right. Who scores higher on an IQ test, Sean or Shanda? I bet Shanda does actually. <laughs> really? I do. I'd, I'd bet on it. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Very interesting. Very interesting. You wouldn't think it, but there's a, <laughs> there's a surprising little brain in there. <laughs> you, you might. <laughs> yeah. Uh, three things you're better at than Eric Marshall. Jeez, only three? <laughs> well, the, the top three. I am better definitely at bartending than he is. He's mediocre at best. That's 100% accurate. Um, he did pour me a mean menthol just two days ago, though, and that tasted 
Perfect. Yeah, I chilled it all day. I don't know if you mix it yourself, but probably have a waitress <laughs> do it for you. Yeah, I'm standing on towels in the back and push it down. Second through thing grates. would be, I'm a better water polo player, and I can tread water longer than Eric Marshall for sure. Yep. And <sighs> third, I'm better at remembering my camera to a podcast. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Nomination for low light piece of shit of the week, right there. That's fair. All right. If we had a runway battle like in Zoolander between Jake Pearson and Sid Walker, who would win? Ooh. Is Jake doing a somersault? I mean, it's, it's And whatever. how many hair pullbacks is Sid doing? <laughs> it really matters. Uh, let's limit them to each two. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take Sid on that one. Sid? I think okay. he's got a better strut. Okay. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, what is your favorite vacation destination? New York City. Really? I'm a big fan. Okay. Yep. You've traveled to a lot of I have. Places, a lot of people don't know. I'm a little bit of a Broadway nut. I, uh, so I, I, yeah, so I, so, I and that's, that's, you, and I just you like you do go to the Civic Center, aren't you a season pass member? Yeah, I am. Yeah, that was my final question. Oh. Being a uh, season pass holder at Civic Center, what's your favorite show that you've watched? Newsies. Newsies. Hands down, I actually named this bar after the the technical legal name is Once and for All LLC, and that is a song from Newsies. I don't even know what Newsies is. I know. Guess. There you go. Cody's Newsies I've is the greatest underdog story of all time. So it's, it's the newsboys that deliver the newspapers for Joe Pulitzer back in 1913. Is that who the Pulitzer Prize is? Yeah, that's who, and he ran the newspapers in New York City. I was probably the wealthiest person in the world at that time. And his newsboys that were basically homeless kids went on strike, and they beat him. Wow. Yep. Yeah. Cody's going to go home and Google it, but since he's got Ford Dodge spelling, he's going to type in nudies. Nudies. And this is going to be nothing but nudies <laughs> well, just, pop up. And so his night's just, full. Google's going to know what I'm thinking. He's going to autocorrect it. <laughs> All right, that's been the blitz. Eric? Nice. Okay, I'm up. Your turn. I feel like All I already right. won. I just feel like you did, too. Okay, go ahead. Who scores a higher on your IQ test, you or Hartung? Ooh, I mean, clearly me. Okay. I don't know. I actually do it. I'll give it to him because he was smart enough to hire me. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Ooh. Solid response. Boom. Three things you're better at than Eric Hartung. Um, DJing. Drinking Jaeger bombs. And push-ups. <laughs> yeah, I'll give you that. I was going to say left-handed handshake. <laughs> <laughs> Clapping. Tying your shoes. Um, yeah. If we had a runway battle between... Like on like on Zoolander between Jake Pearson and Sid Walker, who would win? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Guys, really bring the thunder on these guests. <laughs> hey, That's actually well. I forgot to tell Cody. I'm auditioning, I'm auditioning for co-hosts. <laughs> What's that? I'm auditioning for co-hosts. <laughs> yeah, right. Dude, that the camera wasn't facing that way. Uh, wait, what was the question again? If we had a runway battle like in Zoolander between Jake Pearson and Sid Walker, who would win? Mm, I'm going to go with oh Sid. Easy. Jake's very uncoordinated. He's not really that graceful. And he probably would need a shot of insulin before he even gets up there. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite vacation destination? Orlando, Florida. Home Disney World? Disney World and Universal Studios. And the Orlando yeah, Magic. Yeah. Yes. Well, no, I don't care about them. Straight. <laughs> Look, I'll, I'll be an adult that loves Disney my whole life. I can go every year and spend five thousand. dollars Do you have any Mickey Mouse t-shirts? I don't. I you don't. You, it's like you don't even care then. I have a Mickey Mouse hat that okay. says Disney Dad. That's pretty cool. Okay. Yeah. It's a start. And I got some stuff. I would do better. Well, clearly, that'd be. Okay. But you only had three things you could do better. That's true. <laughs> so you messed that one up. And finally, what is your favorite Broadway show? Hmm. I haven't seen a lot of Broadway's. I did like The Lion King. It's a great show. Lion King was fantastic. Did you see it? I did. There you go. And uh, God, what was the last one I went to at Civic Center? There was something there was about a year ago. And Practical Jokers? Is that considered a Broadway <laughs> yeah, show? It's not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I'll stick with Lion King. Lion King okay. was an exception. That's, all right. It's a great show. All right. And that has been The Blitz. Now we can pair answers. So who is a higher IQ? Who wins? Or who scores higher on an IQ test? Sean or Shanda? He said Shanda. I asked you who scores higher between you two. Said him. I don't know if I fully believe Hartung on this one, so I'm going to give it to you because that's one point. Yeah. But you think he's right in being a higher IQ than me, then? Well, I think you're you're higher because you hired him, which was actually okay. stupid. So I don't know. I don't know. 
Wow. I'm, I'm going to call wow. this one a push. That was a long roundabout there. I'm going to call yeah. this one a push. Wow. All right. uh, three things you're better at than yeah. each other. I'm going give, to give this one to Hartung. Okay. His stuff's just DJing, come on. Okay. I, he's probably a better DJ. Cody's honestly. like, I'm so good at it, man. He's like, I was the original no touch. <laughs> you're an idiot. <laughs> he's like, but I called myself that with the ladies. Uh, who, would, who would win on <laughs> Who would win in a runway battle? You both said Sid, so that's a push. So right now it's one nothing hard tongue. Okay. One zero two. One sorry, correct. I'm playing soccer. All right, well you're gonna lose a point there. <laughs> no. Your favorite vac- vacation destination? Grow up, Marshall. Could you never even been to New York City? No. And I really don't have any desire to go there, but I believe hard You'd be perfect at Disney. They'll, they'll let you cut the lines on everything. They'll think <laughs> you're a make a wish kid. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be so good. Hey, if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying, right? That's fair. So who won? Uh, and the last one was uh, – oh, that was the last one, sorry. Uh, I'm going to give it to Hartung. It's good to be me. It's fair. Hartung wins 1-0-0-3. Zero, zero, so you were talking about the name and how it's based off Newsies and everything. Mm-hmm. So I would have had an Urban Dictionary to actually chummy for you. Okay. Uh-oh. I, found I, think <laughs> I, I think I've heard this already. I found two Urban Dictionaries on chummy. Continue. The first one, chummy, close with someone or looking comfortable with an individual using a sentence, man – Matt and Lisa are looking chummy. What's the second one? That was, that was the oh, second one. that's the fir- first that was, one. That was the first one. Second yeah. one. Chummy, the mother of all shits. Ooh. Christ on a bike. That chummy I just did could have sank the fucking Bismarck. I actually like both. That's not what I heard. I can't remember now, but it was, it <laughs> was not what Those are the what first two that popped up on chummy when I looked. So then I went ahead and uh, Urban Dictionary to Eric because there's two of us on yep. the show today. Both we spell our name correctly, too. Yeah, uh... Eric seems quiet, but when you get him talking, he never shuts up. Super sassy and can seem intimidating, but is a total sweetheart. Loyal, brutally honest, do anything for you. Also has great taste in music. Uh, Using sentence, that guy is such an Eric. That's a great sentence. Yeah, right? That's a great sentence. Uh, And the next one I found, which is also fantastic. A cat that gives no fucks and can fly. That's an Eric. (laughs) Why is the Eric so fabulous? Ooh, I like that too. Yeah. I don't know which one's better. I don't know, but Urban Dictionary is killing it right now. So when did Urban Dictionary become nice? Wasn't it always insults? It's all how you use it, Cody. Okay. Well, I like the flying cat one. Just, that's such an Eric thing. <laughs> yeah. So, Hartung, being one of the creators, the inventors, the whatever you else want to call it, of the friendship frolic. That's been done now. That was, we had, what, you had 10 years had of it? 10 of them. Yeah. Yep. How did that get started, and do you have a favorite story? This year would have been 11. If we, last, we, no, we, last, or last year would have been We did a little private one for the, the, the founders last year. I had a the limo. Four founders are you, Barth, Paul, Paul and Brett, Brett Bachman. Yep. And yeah. actually, Ryan Breckenridge was an original, too. He got dropped out later. For those who don't know the Friendship Frolic, it was a uh, essentially a g- gathering of uh, friends. All the bar people. It was a service industry Christmas party on a Tuesday. Yes. And real quick, our executive producer just handed me uh, okay. an Urban Dictionary. He didn't think it was fair. We left Cody out. Oh, here we go. Looked up a Cody. Uh, the guy that keeps getting rejected, <laughs> he's such a Cody. The definition of him, basically a failed fuckboy. <laughs> so, yeah, it's mean. It. It's I mean. Do. Okay. Yeah. It is mean still. Okay, you're good. Such, as long as it's still mean. You're I'm such happy. a Cody. I'm you're happy the, it's you're still the best mean. producer ever. Oh, yeah, right? Yeah. He's, on, he's on top of it. Yeah. As long as it's still mean, okay with that. So let's go back into the friendship frolic. How did, how did you guys start it? Well, uh, yeah, we, hang on. We were talking about what it was, kind of. We described. started. I I don't even remember, but I think that we had a couple of bartenders that drink the original Fun Bar. OFB. Um, some of the bartenders or waitresses were going to school names, and we decided on Tuesday it was like during winter break for them that us bartenders would grab a bus have a couple of drinks and names and then drive back down to Des Moines mm-hmm. and just get wasted on a bus and then go out in Des Moines. And I think that was the first year that came to fruition. I mean, that wasn't year one, but that was the idea of we did it again, so we just had to do this bus party again and then just turn it into driving around downtown. Yeah. Des Moines. I started on the second one, okay. I think it was my first one. I think I was on four or five. Cause I, only, I, think I, did, I think I bartended for one of them. And then yeah. was on the rest on after, like the f- five or six after that. 
I tell you what, I never took the morning off work the next day, and that was always a, a yeah. rookie move. Best story, though. Yeah. Back to that. I think it was probably year seven or eight. Um, I had found some really sweet corduroys that I was going to wear. <laughs> they did not have belt loops, and they were not even close to my size. And they couldn't stay around my waist. So I was trying to keep these pants on all night long, but I also had to carry my drink, too. And that gets really complicated for a one-handed person. I had to pick and decide which, at the time, was I going to hold my pants up or was I going to hold my drink. <laughs> <laughs> so my pants kept falling off. Eventually, I ditched the pants, but then I didn't have pockets to put my wallet, phone, things in. Wallet, phone, keys. So I lost my keys, my wallet, my phone, got home, didn't have pants. And I was staying with Jeremy Barth down here downtown. And I don't know if we just didn't know how to work the elevator or we decided <laughs> we'd take the stairs. But I fell up the stairs, hit my head on a <laughs> stair railing, gave myself a black eye. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. This is all a week before Christmas. So I had a black eye in all my Christmas pictures. And my grandparents were like, what did you do? I'm like, well, I fell upstairs at a, at a friend's how birthday that? party. Yeah. Made something up. But yeah. That was my worst or best friendship frolic story. Okay. Marshall, do you, you were on, what did you say? I was on nine S- of them. Nine of them? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you have a favorite story? Yeah, I wish I remembered the stories, to be <laughs> honest with you. I, uh, I kissed David Prince on the mouth one time. That was about that. Like Jeremy most Barth, people just. Jeremy re- Barth walked around and kissed everyone in the room. Yeah, well, that's Mostly Barth, just the dudes, yeah. and then I was like, well, we can't let him one up us. <laughs> most people just remember the frolics by their outfit. Yeah, and you have no yeah. idea what year it was, but it was nope. it was this nope. outfit year. Yeah, and me and that's a, a story from it. There we go. Me and Brett Wilkin one year went as Mandy Canes. We bought um, he was a all white, like a onesie essentially. Yeah, well, a warm one because it's cold out, you know. And then I was all red one, and then we used white and red duct tape and went as Mandy Canes. That was fun until we had to pee. What'd you use? What'd you use? <laughs> that was not that much fun. We had essentially had to cut the tape down the front. Just What'd you use the duct tape for later on? The end of the night. Well, I tried to save it for the show so you wouldn't talk as much, but we ran out. My favorite outfit would be the one where a stare, who I believe was on all ten of them. I think so. Yes. I yeah. She created an outfit for our friend uh, Andrew Burroughs. Okay. Um, and it had just it was a tree and it was like a. Um, a Christmas tree, but in the middle it was cut out so just his hairy chest yep, could stick it through was. it. And that Absolutely. was hilarious to me. That was a good one. Yeah, that was a really good outfit. Um, so since we're going back to time, I like to look at people's tweets from back in the day. Okay. You're not much of a tweeter not, anymore. I'm not much of a tweeter. I'm a, I'm a voyeurist tweeter. But I just I, watch from a distance. Yeah, you do a lot of retweeting, I see. Just occasionally. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I'll go back to some of your old tweets that you actually tweeted. Please do. This one's from September 19th, 2015. Jeez. My biggest fear, pulling my phone out of my pocket inside a Kaibo. I remember that. That's probably my best tweet I've ever written. Because, honestly, <laughs> it is my biggest I instantly started sweating when I read that, thinking about dropping my phone in the it's Kaibo. It's because it's Annie's all the time. I, I feel like I start, and then I check my phone, and I'm like, this is not the place to do this. No. <laughs> have you have you dropped it in? No, I haven't. No? But I even wrote that tweet in a Kaibo oh, doing that. Geez, yeah, that's like Some have irrational fears. That's a rational fear. That's a very rational yeah. fear. All right. Um... This is from October 29th, 2014. What's black and blue and doesn't like rumplements? The Giants fan in my trunk. Hashtag World Series. Hashtag Take the Crown. Ooh, hashtag Royals. That's a bold one out of me. Hashtag Game I think seven. I was at the Royals game. I was with you. Yeah. Are you? Yeah, yeah we were outside. Yeah. Yeah. So a lot of the pictures I've seen on Facebook were you're a Cubs fan and a Royals fan. Do you, have a, do you have a preference? I think I grew up being a Royals fan. Um... My uncle lives in Kansas City, and we got to tour the stadium once. Okay. And that was in the days of, like, George Brett and Brett Reagan. Yep. And that became my favorite at the time. And then I became a Cubs fan once I figured out how to watch baseball. Yeah. And thought baseball was what cool. Do you, what do you think about people that are Yankees fans? Are they automatically will a piece of the shit of the week every week? Well, we're still in the playoffs. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's starting to. Um, I mean, I respect the Yankees. I, I, I've been to the stadium, obviously, in New York City. And it's a cool place, and they've That's got a great Hall of Fame. It's an excellent – I mean, they, they serve you drinks in their seats, and not many stadiums do that. Oh, that's pretty cool. The yeah. Giants, I think, do they that. They step it up a notch. Yeah. The, the, the Dodgers do, too. You've also been to – the Giants do, I think, too. You've yeah. also been to um, Boston, right? Fenway yeah. Park? Yep. Which one 
Did you like better? Fenway is my favorite baseball park, Ever. even being a Cubs fan. Yeah. I mean, it's just an incredible place. If I had to pick, I've been to Wrigley, uh, been to a couple other ones. Yankee Stadium would be one I just want to go to. Even, mm-hmm. even, it would be the original one. But, yeah. but it's, well, Fenway. It's, it's technically still there. There's just little kid baseball fields. Where it's at. Yeah, so it's right it's my, my life size. Yeah, so you'd be fine. Yeah. <laughs> you could run the bases. Yeah. Uh, but, but Fenway would be one that you, I think you have to get yeah. to. I'm a big baseball fan, so that's kind of yeah. like one of the things right. on there. December 13th, 2013. In quotes, last night's Jameson taste testing event was really educational, and I feel really great this morning. In quotes, said no one ever. I think that was a sarc- sarcastic <laughs> moment. I do too, as I Cody's about to pour some Jameson. Was. How long ago was that? What year? Uh, two, December of 2013. That was right when Brex opened before it turned into the Copper Cup and Royal Mile, or the Monk. Like I think the national executives for Jameson were in town. Mm. And they were doing a taste testing. Sounds and somehow we got talked into it, and I'm not a big Jameson fan. You got some drinks here. I we'll do. cheers you. All right, and while we're doing that, I'll read the next one. June 29th, 2012. When's the last time you got kissed by a rose on the plane? Greatest song of all time. Greatest Top five song. greatest songs of all time. Oh, yeah. You know that song, Cody? Yeah. I, I'm not going to sing Who it. Who sings it? it? Uh, I don't know. Don't be silly. <laughs> Who? Seal. Seal. From. Oh, uh, you mean Heidi Klum's ex husband? That, that's the guy. Batman? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Chris O'Donnell was Robin, I believe. Yeah, this. I think that was the one. Yep. Yeah, I think it so. Was. Nicole Kidman was in it. Yeah, she played too. Catwoman. Yeah. Was it Val Kilmer or George Clooney? Yeah, she played. Uh, I'm pretty oh. sure she played Catwoman. But that was. Oh, that oh. was. Who? Jim Carrey with the Riddler. That was Val Kilmer. That, that was Val. Yeah, that yeah. wasn't the same one, was it? No. That was Batman Returns. Was uh, either way. And the last one was February twenty third, two thousand eleven, when you first joined Twitter. Tweet was, I remember my first tweet. <laughs> Did you remember it? <laughs> Is that it? Yeah, that That's was gotta it. Be it. That was it. <laughs> so I feel like that was an appropriate tweet to start off my. I, I think I had bigger expectations that day than I. Then what? Yeah. Ten years later, I haven't yeah. done a whole lot. Twitter is very <laughs> underwhelming yeah. at first until yeah. you start following more people. Yeah, and then it's it's like sucks yeah. in like TikTok. Yep. Yeah. TikTok is very uh, addicting. I will admit that it is. I blame our executive producer Zachary Tobis for getting me addicted to that one. Yeah, Cody. That's basic. Uh, TikTok's like Cody's Pornhub. Do you guys have a TikTok channel yet? We don't. You probably should. That's, that's a good point. You're not wrong. That'd be your job, Cody. Oh yeah, like everything else is my job. You had one job to bring the fucking cameras. Oh my God. Cody's going to edit this week's podcast, so <laughs> you guys can see this in three weeks when it's ready. Uh, with that being said, let's get into our sponsors yeah. for the evening. So we've got uh, Lola's and Bebop's. So we're doing the Hot and Cold Challenge. Eric Hartong has agreed to do that on the show tonight. What that means is going to do a shot of Lola's hot sauce followed by a shot of Bebop's ranch. And we'll, Bebop's and Lola's will each donate $20, so $40 total, to the charity of your choice. And then we're going to have some video clips of other people doing it throughout the week that we'll edit in. Um, each person will get like a little swag bag kind of thing with yeah. some Bebop stuff and some Lola's stuff. And Hartong actually gets this sweet little... Uh, I got a car with a t-shirt. I don't I know think. what this is. It's a, Looks like a 54 Cadillac, maybe? That was a pure guess out of you. It's a Chevy, obviously. Yeah. I don't... I'm just throwing... out. I'm just throwing out numbers. It's a Chevy Cadillac. <laughs> it's a Chevy. Yeah, you ever driven a Chevy Cadillac? Yeah. Those things are great. <laughs> it looks like it's uh, possibly convertible, too. If you just cut the top off. Cody, are you going to do a shot of hot sauce? Uh, I'll do your ranch. I can't do I got acid reflux really bad. I can't. I love the hot sauce. I just can't do a shot of it. I'm just a grown-ass man. He's an adult. You're very tall. Okay. If that makes you grow <laughs> Uh, we could maybe work something out. Cody, I'm, all about, I'm all about giving back and donating charities. So, so every week we always talk about favorite menu items on Bebop's too. So okay. let's go ahead. Let's just keep this tradition alive. You were to go to Bebop's right now. What are you ordering? I normally always just get the double, but I still have yet to try the triple. Maybe I Ooh, can. The triple, maybe I can do triple. that tonight. The triple, yeah. You the, are you saying they're open late? Can I get a triple? If I go to the window and say I want a triple, they'll make it for me. Absolutely. They will. Yep. Absolutely. The audience says yes. Have you, can you, also, you can also I'm going to do it. You can add a pork tenderloin on the bottom if you want. I'm going to send you guys a picture of my triple tonight. 
Absolutely. You know what right is here. is the underrated one? The farmer. The farmer one's the most underrated one, but it's on their secret menu. So yeah, you just gotta ask for it. Yeah. Okay. That's, That's fantastic. Phenomenal. But do the triple first. Yeah. Oh, well, we need Perfect. the triple. And then we've got so Lola's now has six different flavors. Yep. And they're in there. They have the packets now, so it's just like a little package that yeah, has. Yeah. So you keep them in, in your purse. Yeah. Or your back pocket, whatever. Whatever you want. See. We did. Uh, what do we got here? We got ghost pepper, yeah. original, buffalo. Buffalo. I haven't had that one yet. That uh, one I wanna, that's one I want to try the most. The Carolina Reaper and the Family Reserve. We had these on the the Hot Wing Challenge. So we had. That Family Reserve is fantastic. It's super hot, but it's fantastic. The Family Reserve was one that, the first one that kicked my butt on the, the uh, Hot Wings Challenge. But the Carolina Reaper one, I think we did, right? Yeah. That one was on, the, on there, and that was hot, but. I mean, all of those are so, very flavorful. Yeah. So, yeah. So, if you like hot sauce, but also like flavor, Lola's is where you're going to go. Yeah. Like, if you're not that, like, I don't do that hot because I'm kind of a wimp. I see. The original is fantastic. Original, yeah. I, I, I go put through. it on my eggs, put it on everything. Which one do I do a shot of tonight? You choose. Oh, the hotter you go, we can talk to Lola's as talk about maybe doing a little bit more of a donation. Ooh. Ooh. Look so, Cody's spending other people's money. I like <laughs> it. I like it. Look at him go. You're a businessman. With that being said, uh, let's go into a uh, quick word from our sponsors. We'll throw the videos up for the uh, Hot and Cold Challenge, and we'll get ready for you to do yours, and we'll come right back. Absolutely. Perfect. the best place in Des Moines to get a burger, fries, and a chocolate shake? v Big tasty burgers, hot crispy fries, and great chocolate shakes. So why do you come to v -Bots? The burgers are fresh and fast, and it tastes great. I like the pork fritters and chicken sandwiches. Where's the best place in Des Moines to get a burger, fries, and a chocolate shake? There's only one place we go. v -Bots. Oh, v -Bots. Better than good. Thanks to Lola's and Bebop's, I'm doing this for charity, and my charity is Tips for All. Thanks to Lola's and Bebop's, my charity is Tips for All. That was <laughs> uh, Thank you to Lola's, thank you to Bebop's, and my charity is Tips for All. Tips for All, guys. Cheers. Oh, shit. <sighs> oh, that's so good. That's fire. All right, thanks to uh, everyone who's done the hot and cold challenge so far. We appreciate you guys. We appreciate Lola's and Bebop's also for... Uh, bringing this fantastic idea to us right here live at Chummies. Chummy. That's a pain of, oh, Chummy. Shit. Damn it. Damn it. So, How many people are going to call it Chummies, you think? No, I've had, and I've had, better, you know what? It's better than Cummies. I've had, so, I've had three people ask me if it's called Chubbies. I'm like... Chubbies, like the short shorts that people wear? Or like a, a chubby you get as a, as a male. You get a lot of those, Cody? Only, only when you're oh, around. With little only boys when around. Only when your mom's <laughs> around, actually. Wow, Cody. Wow. Mm. Anyway, so... Shout out Pam. Um, so I guess Hard Tongue's going to do it. He's going to do the, uh, which one did we give you? We gave you the, um, the, he did the, the Scorpion. Trinidad, Trinidad Scorpion, Scorpion yes. Yeah. And then you're going to chase that with the shot of the Bebop's Ranch. Cody actually can't do ranch to save his life. <laughs> I mean, so I, I can. But I'm going to tag team this with him. He's going to do the hot sauce. I'm going to do the ranch. And I'm going to do it all. Arch I'm going to do it all. Because I can. Yeah. Our charity is going to be toward. Towards uh, Tips for All. It's tips for, for All. Uh, for a friend of ours. Friend of ours. Uh, her niece. It's childhood cancer. Uh, yep. So we did a fundraiser last week for that. Um, if you guys also want to sponsor that or donate to that as well, let me know. Message us on the podcast. I'll send you the GoFundMe link for that. It's a great family, great yeah. cause. We're going to raise money for them. They've had a lot of struggles, so it's really really cool to do whatever we can to help yeah. them out. So our money will go to that. Uh, I was going to donate to Chummy Kids, <laughs> but uh, Chummy doesn't have any kids. So, so you can I'll, I'll just join, I'll join, join, join you guys. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. So we got eighty dollars toward that that uh, charity there. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Well, let's do these quick yeah, this, and uh, this, this is gonna be for Evelyn. Yeah. 
Cheers to you guys. Okay, so they're going to do the hot sauce. This is going to be fantastic. For the, for those who are listening on Spotify and Apple Podcasts, go ahead. That's tasty. Flip on over. Is that good? Yeah, I thought I'd have to immediately taste it with the ranch. Yeah. I'm going to talk about it for a second. That, no, that's fine. That's Watch it on YouTube. Woo. Uh, that's at, at S8 Ball Podcast on YouTube. <laughs> Cody, what do you think? Is that is it slowly slowly burning? Slowly burning a little bit. Nice. So I like it. That's, that's the scorpion. Yeah. Yeah, it stings you and you don't know. No, I can say there you go. <laughs> and cheers to the ranch. No, uh, I did the Lowe's original. My favorite. I've been, I've been doing uh, eating Lowe's original cool for, for you. <sighs> Delicious. Whenever they came out with it, I love it. I uh, had originally just gotten into. I mean, I'm a big hot sauce person, but I started getting into Tabasco and sriracha and stuff, and then. So the the, the shit ones. Now you're onto the good flavors. Yeah. Yeah. Does Bebops have a ranch burger? Sure, maybe maybe I should talk to their, their marketing committee. I'm gonna be honest. I'm maybe sure like if you a, went there and like said, a nice ranch burger. Said, can I get the triple cheeseburger and you, you guys pour a cup of ranch on top of it? Yep, I bet that's the way would. to go. Hundred percent, bet they would. Yeah, I feel good about that. Yeah, I think we're on something here. Okay, I'm gonna tell you how the order goes tonight. <laughs> the Bebop, the Bebop's ranch. <laughs> like, who the hell is this guy? <laughs> when you, when you mm, order, I don't like, know. You want any ranch yeah. and cheese sauce? They're like, yes, yeah, on the burger. <laughs> yeah. Just make their life as difficult as possible. Yeah, absolutely. They'd probably want you to pull over and watch you eat it, actually. Well, I, I'm going to go to the walk-up. Speaking of chubbies, I think <laughs> there you go. I like the right customer. Why, hey, why, why do you go to the walk-up? Is it hard to... <laughs> it's too much to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just had hot sauce and ranch in my mouth. I don't want to talk about it. But, yeah, I'm, I'm going to get some ranch with my burger tonight. Perfect. So, I'll send you a pic. Absolutely, you should. We'll post it right here on the video. The uh, Bebop's Triple Ranch Burger. We're yep, on to something. There we Tri- go. Triple Ranch Burger. I feel like that's, that's going to be the new Triple Ranch yep. Farmer yep. Burger. See? We're I'll take, I'll take some profits. Uh, patty on there. But what we'll do is we'll get, send you home with a bottle of Lola sauce, and you can put it on each bite as Ooh, you Oh, there eat. we go. Yeah. yeah. You can have that Kay. to send you home with that Trinidad Scorpion. So when I do that and this all blows up, I expect donations to Chummy Kid then. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's going to be like cars for kids, but Chummy Kids. <laughs> Jerry, Jerry's Kids. <laughs> Fantastic. Car, cars for Kids is the most... Like, uh, greatest jingle in the history. Dude, yeah, of it is. It is. It's like O'Reilly's, L- Lebanon, Auto parts. Cars for Kids. Yeah. That order. Cars for Kids. I, I'm pretty sure we Charlie, should, Charlie Sheen on Two ep- and a Half Men invented that jingle. We should do a whole episode about jingles. I think we're onto something here. Whoa, mm-hmm. That's a good idea. Add that in your notes. I will, absolutely. But first, let's go into Don't the uh, Kyle McLean Low Life Piece of Shit of Week Award. In a world of Kyle McLean's, only one stands out. It's the Kyle McLean Low Life Piece of Shit of the Week Award. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut Cody off. I'm going to nominate myself because I already knew he was going to nominate me <laughs> for forgetting the cameras and having to go home and get them. So I delayed everybody tonight. People watching don't know that, but now I just told them. Yep. I, I was going to nominate you. Thank you. But then I thought about it and I already nominated you last time in season one for he- being late eating your Cabco and why you should have been DJing. So tonight, I am going to nominate. It was delicious. Tony Rose. Tony Rose. I don't know if you know Tony Rose. He is my builder in this fantastic little place called Chummy. Actually, he's doing a great job, but he's stressed out as AF. But um, it's always good. You can swear. It's always good to humble him. We're explicit. I'm I'm now three weeks behind, which is probably not his fault at all. Mostly my own, but it's easy. But but I'm going to blame him. Yeah, you're paying him. I, I write the checks. That's I'm blaming him. So, Tony Rose, you are the first nominee for the Kyle McLean. Funny enough, he what? built Kyle McLean's bars, too. He did. <laughs> so, yeah. It works out. He's yep. a Kyle McLean yep. low-life piece of shit of the week. Uh, or nominee. Cody, who do you got? Uh, so, I'm going to call her Karen T. Because we were at uh, Firebirds for your girl Tiff's birthday. Oh, yeah, yeah. The and last, uh, last we week. had 11 people at the table. And they were sitting 10 feet away from us. And... Called manager over, completely bitched about us having 11 people instead of 10. Made one of our people leave the restaurant. And then they just sat there and stared at us, giving us mean eyes. Had a $20 tab and tipped $2. So where did you go for dinner when you had to leave? Because <laughs> we know you were the bottom of that total hey, pole. to be fair, he went to Bebop's this right There we go. <laughs> Solid move. Got the triple. Yep. And, uh, and then when they finally did leave, and they weren't wearing masks or anything, they were just sitting there, you know. When they finally did leave, they called the manager over and complained to her for 20 minutes. Wow. 
And then they called the These restaurant. These are patrons of the restaurant or the yes, wait staff? They said, They're patrons. They okay. said the only reason they come to there is because they feel safe. Approximately 9.3 feet away from us. Yeah. <laughs> I measured it with my uh, laser measure. Yeah. And then they c- called the restaurant it's and told them they should kick us out because of this. This is a really long nominee. I'm very angry about I, this, I, as I, you can I, tell. I like his passion. Yeah, you're bit, yeah. Like, you should have got their name. You're so passionate about it. I, we'll just call them Karen T. That's how I call her Karen T. So when's your second date with her? Uh... Bring her to hey, bring her to Chummy. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have a, we're gonna have a Chummy date on the yeah. on the opener of October sixteenth. Hey, by the way, Chummy opens next Friday. Uh, oh yeah. Well, yeah, that's next Friday. October sixteenth, yeah. right? Sixteenth. Fantastic. That's two Fridays yep. from today. Well, yep. Yeah. Well, by the time you guys are hearing Drop this, it. yeah, it'll yeah. be exactly one week. And October seventeenth, I'll be late to work at Copper Cup because I'll be at Chummy having drinks. <laughs> so, Probably. Wait, you're at Chummy's until when, and then you can't get to Copper Cup. Yeah, I'll be there like yep. nine forty-five. It's fine. Uh, Nominee low like piece of shit of the week for me, Tyra Banks. Uh, she announced the wrong couple was eliminated on Dancing with the Stars. That bitch. I can't, she pulled the Steve Harvey. Oh, Still. man. Oh, my God. Uh, okay, also I have Joey Chestnut. Ooh. The great American hero. He ate a 12-pound walking taco in 38 minutes and completely grossed me out. <laughs> and you what? Do you always a low like piece of shit about it? He had a walking taco? Put no Lolos on it. Oh. oh. Bold move. Bold. Joey Chestnut. Step bold your game move, up. Joey. Bold Step move. your game up, Joey. And my last nominee is Apple. Yes. And still, after Apple. five years now, they've never responded to any of my messages about face mail. You know what? I actually wrote them an email as well. About face mail? No. Oh, my God. Um, I said the Apple Watch is bullshit because it's not for handicapped people. That's, that's fair. And how am I supposed to use my Apple Watch? And so they need to come out with either an Apple headband <laughs> Apple fanny pack? <laughs> or fanny pack or something else nice. because I feel very discriminated against. Yeah. And Tim did not respond to my email as he claims he reads all the emails. I've tweeted at him. I've sent emails. Yep. I'm a, I'm he doesn't a, care. I might send a handwritten note because he doesn't care. It's bullshit. They don't have it yet. When I drunk FaceTime somebody and they don't answer, I want them to see how drunk I am and leave them a message. That's, that's Great. I'm sure that's what Snapchat and Instagram's for, but I'm not going to get onto another app to do it. I've already nope. done it this way. So you're just you're you're taking the Ed Wilson guy up to another level. You're like you're doing it instead of writing out the hand. Yeah, letter, no, I'm tweeting, numbering emailing. the pages. I'm emailing from different accounts. <laughs> I have four different emails. If you don't know this specifically, just to email him. Marshall has like 12 different Twitters that are just fake that like burner accounts. Yeah, absolutely. He just yeah yeah. At fuck Cody King. All the, my top all the, <laughs> all the, whatever celebrity he's pissed at, he creates a fake Twitter account and then. Let's know about it. Act, act, no, he goes on there, acts like them, so yeah. then they, so they get caught. Who are we giving the Kyle McLean Low Life Piece of Shit of the Week award to? Kinsey. Ooh, Kinsey. What? Oh, she a nominee. Oh, I, I well, forgot. That was gonna be my. She originally was gonna be a nominee. Yeah. Yeah. Kinsey, okay, yeah. so Kinsey, for those who don't know, is an employee of. Michelle. She mopped my back room for like two hours today, so well, I, I can't. She was supposed. She was supposed to come to this this live. She was invited. Yeah. She had confirmed that she was coming, okay. and then she backed out. Well, the winner. I'll go ahead and decide for you guys. Apple. Shanda Meyer. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah. Again, wins when Hart Tongue's on the show. Shanda also employee Perfect. of the Copper Cup downtown. Out of nowhere. My fourth favorite employee. Yes, no, actually, fourth, this is my sixth, sixth favorite. Sixth favorite. Yeah, down there. If you include your ten ninety nine, she's yeah. like eight. Yep. Well, did you count DJ No Touch? So we're just dropping. I said right the ten ninety nine. Yeah. yeah. He'll get his check at the end of the year. So, Shanda Meyer, you again win the Kyle McLean Award. Congrats. Which is great because it's basically her body with Kyle's face on it, the trophy. Oh, you made one? It's the same thing. Okay, It, it looked the same. Yeah. So, Eric, we also have um, some pictures of you. I can't, I, can't imagine where you found those. I, I did a deep dive into your yeah. Facebook. You don't have to dive that deep. And there's a oh, lot yeah. of them that it's are all there. very, very um, entertaining to me. My first one is you being, what are you, 6'5"? Approximately. There's one Give where you're in a wedding, and this guy's a foot taller than you. That's, that Manker? that's my best friend, Chris Manker. But I, I feel like that guy's Manker's, the shortest guy is like six foot. Manker's seven foot tall. Yeah, so. He played. The other guy's about five, at, six. Like SDSU or something? He played at San Diego State, and he played at Oregon or Oregon State. I don't know which one. Mm-hmm. He's a tall guy. I grew up with him. He grew up on my same block, and we played basketball every single day, and I. Whipped the shit out of him until Is, about eighth grade, and then he had a growth spurt. Yep. <laughs> Is he the one you, you were telling about uh, that was on the water polo team with you in high school? He did not play the water polo. No water polo. He could stand on the bottom, so it wouldn't be fair. <laughs> that's that's true. I, I'm just happy I'm not in this party because 
you'd be next to that Jane guy's taller, the... a little taller, and he's like six six. This That's guy's his brother. Got to be, be six foot. He looks no, like. he's like five seven. Okay, so he's, he's in your ballpark. Yeah, uh, I got a picture. Okay, since we're talking about okay. the friendship frolic earlier. All right, what do you think of this one, Senior Hartung? Ooh, yeah, it's a nice was, one. Was that a those Latino tights? Theme that year? That's another one where I probably lost my phone, wallet, and keys because I had no pockets. Not in the Kaibo. Once again, no. I did not think about it. Not in a Kaibo. No. But those are great tights. Were I you listening I... to a lot of Pitbull radio before you went on? <laughs> Getting in spirit. Just, yeah. You look great. Thank you. Uh, speaking of our little piece of shit of the week winner. Oh, there she is. Hey, funny story. What's the What's the X for? I had the same picture. <laughs> oh, did, did you? you really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice. I, saw that. I just saw that. Um... Well, that was the three of us in Las Vegas. Friend. So is Lauren your best friend then? Yeah. I did that at the time. Just because Sheena and Lauren are best friends. And I wanted to make a point of eliminating her out of the picture. We took that in Vegas on one of our Christmas trips. That came out today on my time hop. This was on my time hop. This today? Right yeah. You took that picture. Yeah, yeah I did. And this you was did. fantastic. And I couldn't remember who he was. That's Ashley horrible. Angel Parker. I should, I should Ashley Angel have, Parker. I don't yeah. remember where he's from. O Town. Oh yeah. I googled it because yeah. I couldn't remember where he, he was from. He came into Drink the Original Fun Bar. Yeah. This was What's 11. O-Town? Well, this was more the than like band. This had oh. been more than 11 years ago. I think I just had it posted. Yeah. Years ago. That was from MySpace days for sure. Yeah. This was probably 15, 16 years ago. At least. Ashley Angel Parker. Yep. Mr. O Town himself. Yep. He came to Drink that, the Original was that Fun Bar. It was a Monday night. Is that his actual? Is that his actual name? Or is that a Who Is? That could, ooh, that, that, that should have been who is good point, uh, but he came in. He was doing like some performance. That was back when I worked at 107, and uh, he did like a live. Did that come up on your time hop today? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's how I got it, and then, bam, bam. Okay. Okay. This one. O Town, fantastic band. Tell me where this is at and what what suit you're wearing here. Well, that was that crush. Crush. Obviously. Yep. Everyone knows that. Yeah. Well, I was too young, I think. And that's a I good buddy, Gavin. Great guy. Um, that's actually my sport coat, sport coat, and I never got it back. You never, you gave it to him? Yeah, I used to have quite the collection of sport coats. I still do. What's but the blue silk? Is Chris Mendenhall you, jealous like of the sport coats you have? There or what? Both him and Andy Larson. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they're just not in the I've same never heard of the second ballpark. What is, what's the shirt? Is that silk you're wearing? So, either? yes, that's a, it's a, I think, I believe it's satin. Satin? It's a okay. satin it's a blue shirt. I had that for... Probably close to 15 years. When I first bought it in high school, it, I just swam in it. And then I wore it every it? single 4th of July for 12 years straight. Okay. And Why 4th of July? Dude. Okay. Well, it's that shiny blue. And the, yeah, no, yeah. I get it. Yeah. Uh, when it was There's across, a lot of pictures of me we wearing that shirt. Street when Hard Tongue was managing yeah. Party Cove and I DJ there. Where yeah. Annie's is at now, former yep. Mickey's of Party Cove. Oh, yeah. I wore that shirt every 4th of July. Yep. It's fantastic. Same outfit right there. Yep. Same, same one. Yeah. It's probably the same night. This, I have... This one and one more. So this one, look at this guy. That's a good looking look at that handsome kid. What is that like? How old are you in this picture? Do you think? Eight to ten. That's point. Is that that's a poster is child that for joining Boy Scouts right there? Is your head just that big? I don't know. Maybe my head was that big. <laughs> that's, that's that's a school picture from the late eighties. Why is it in black and white? How old are you? <laughs> wow, Cody. <laughs> wow, Cody. Sorry. I it's going to be the co-host because you can get the <laughs> fuck out of here. <laughs> Cody's not invited to the grand opening anymore. How, uh, what, do you, what do you say that is? Fifth or sixth grade? I would assume so. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. My last one. Actually, it's second grade because I don't have braces. Oh. I know that. I got my braces in third grade. My last one. Do you, do you believe in conspiracy theories? And if so, did aliens really build Stonehenge? I don't think so. How do you think Stonehenge was built? With ramps and pulley <laughs> systems. That's, that'd make the most sense, and, honestly. And engineering, because that's what Sid told me. Science. And he's an engineer, and he knows science, so Sid he's right. Walker? That's the only Sid I know. Let me Sid, Sid I know two. Uh, well, I know two male Sids and one female Ooh, Sid. You're right. Damn it. Yeah. I hate when that happens. Right. <laughs> okay, well, this show's over. <laughs> but you, that, is that, that, that's a place I'd like to go. Stonehenge just seems pretty cool, but it's kind yeah, of... Yeah, and I'm lucky that. enough, it's really hard to get a picture with no one in the way, because I caught the first bus there on purpose. Yeah. It's about an hour bus ride when you get there, and I kind of busted my ass to get to that, because you walk about 200 yards to get to the Stonehenge, oh, and then, kind of then you got to take a quick picture before everyone else tries to get their picture with it. How close can you actually get to... There's, I have a picture where I'm probably 25 yards from it. Okay. Yeah. 
Nice. Yeah, that's a, that's a so Cody, you could almost hit it with a football or a golf ball. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely couldn't hit it with a golf ball. Might maybe off the left, or off the right for sure. But uh, all right, well those are. I could throw a baseball farther than you and a football farther than you. Cool. You want a medal? Yeah, I do. Make me a medal for next week. Do a shot of ranch. Blow me. <laughs> okay. Uh, now we're gonna move on to the name game. The name game. What? Who is? Name game. Name I, game. I, have, I don't think I've seen this. This it's is a newer one. We've only been doing it for, I think we started uh, it's probably about a month. I think it's okay. this season. It's only yeah, this season. Name game, who is? I'm going to tell you a uh, a celebrity's name, and or I'm going to tell you their real name, and you tell me who the celebrity is. Okay. Yeah. Name game, who is? Seems tough. I'm not good at it. Now, the, the worst part is some of their names I can't pronounce. Perfect. <laughs> so it makes it even harder. I hope uh, I correct you. First one, Stefani, Joanne, Angelina, Germanata. Gwen Stefani. No. Damn. Stefani, Joanne, Angelina, Germanata. You're on the right track with Gwen Stefani-ish. I don't have a clue. Okay, it's uh, Lady Gaga. Ooh. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. yeah. I thought Lady her Gaga. name was like Kyle or something. That's... Okay. I, <laughs> wah, wah, wah. <laughs> As the detective uh-huh. producer chirps in. <laughs> Natalie Hirschlag. Is that... Nah, I'm just going to go with Natalie Portman. That's correct, Cody. Nice. Wow. That is correct. You cheated. Wow. <laughs> I did not. You're such an asshole. <laughs> All right. Third one, Aubrey Graham. Uh, Aubrey Heather, Heather Graham. Graham? False. Nope. No, it's the uh, girl from Parks and Rec. You guys are both really close. It's a guy. His name is Drake. Ooh. Drake's name is Aubrey? Aubrey Graham. What a bitch. Man, if, if he... He's it Canadian, man. Comes from yeah, that's I true. hate him. He's the worst rapper of all time. Canada, so? Canada's yep, like I know so. Okay. Canada's that's like a hot the, take, but I, okay. I'm good with that. That's a hot yeah. take. Canada's like the Ankeny of North America. I'm glad you knew it was in North America. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm not uh, right. Riley or Tiff. Uh, Peter Jean Hernandez. Peter Jean Hernandez. Literally have no clue. Pebble. We did Pitbull before. It's not him. <laughs> this one? That'd be great if I didn't know uh, what Pitbull's real name was. Because I don't. Uh, Bruno Mars. Ah! Oh, yeah. Fascinating. He's, he looks like a Peter. Well, I don't know what that means. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're going to go with it. And uh, last one, Lawrence Harvey Ziegler. Lawrence Harvey Ziegler. Right. I'm going to give you a hint. Think is old that, people. Is that Zig Ziegler? Still alive, I think. Old people, though. Lawrence Harvey Ziegler. Not Zig Ziegler. Who's Zig Ziegler? All right. Well, Zig Ziegler educate, is probably, educate Zig Ziegler yourself, Zig Ziegler is not going to be anyone's real name. Educate yourself, you moron. Somebody's real name is Zig Ziegler? Well, Zig is his, like, nickname. Okay, so that's what we're figuring out. I'm just going to... So, no guess? Yeah, I'm going to go 0 for 5 today on this. That's fine. Cody? I, you want to go 1 for 5? Yeah. Okay, Larry King. Ooh. Yeah. I don't know if it, is he alive. I don't know. I don't know. Yes, he is. I think I thought so. I didn't know. It's on his 18th marriage. Yeah, he's like <laughs> he's like the male version of Betty White. He just will yep. never croak. First of all, Betty White is the second greatest American of all time, behind Al Bundy. Oh, that's fair. Um, that was the name game. That was. It was good to be a part did, of it. You guys did terrible. <laughs> yeah. I think that was our lowest combined score. Of all I don't time. think our one, I don't think our total has been above 50 percent once yet, though. Mm, no, no, no. Those are. I mean, those are hard. Yeah. Really hard. Is that? Here, I'll give you a few from, I think I have a few from a few weeks Some back. Backups. Hard, hard time. While he's looking, I got a question. I got an answer. You told me a couple weeks ago when you were a freshman, you, had a, you were on the water polo team, mm-hmm. and a senior female water polo player asked you to massage her legs. No, that's that's false. Well, <laughs> I didn't. I realized it was fake news. You, you, weren't, you weren't listening. Well, I took to down my, notes. We might you, have had. You a, weren't listening to my story at all. We might have had a few white claws then. <laughs> um, so when I was a swimmer at a swim. Valley High School, um, it seemed like a really good idea to be the manager of the girls' oh, that's what swim it was. team. Damn it! Take and terrible I was a high school manager. Not that I had any confidence to talk to any swimmer on that team, but holy shit, there was a lot of hot girls that. Valley swim team. There's like 120 girls on that team. And I remember one time the coaches came and were like, this girl had cramps. Not those kind, but on yeah. her leg. <laughs> and um, they asked me to work it out. And I was just like, nice. 
Rem- I don't even know how to do that. Remind me to move out of the Valley School District <laughs> yeah. when I'm in Queens of Age. <laughs> I'm no longer allowed to go to Valley. How did how did that experience go for you? And what was her name? Do you remember? I, I do remember she was either the homecoming queen or prom queen later that year. Cody wants I, to look I, her don't up remember, on I don't remember her name. I, if I could find it in my yearbook, I'll, nice. I'll see That'd what be I can do first. Also, I just send you a picture. That'd be great. <laughs> That'd be so I'll send you funny. my picture and her picture. <laughs> you do the math. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Well, that being said, uh, let's get into our final thoughts of the evening. Oh, we're going to final thoughts already? Okay. Yeah, it's that time, Cody. Oh, man. All it's right, that time. Right, we right. flew through this. It's, it's that time. We've been having too much fun. Time That's flies true. when you're having fun, right? That's true. Time for final thoughts. Uh, Cody, what do you have for your final thoughts for the week? Oh, man. Final thoughts. 2020, we're in the fourth quarter of the year, so I did see the meme that said, hopefully we're going against the Atlanta Falcons. So hope, let's, let's hope and pray that's good. That's true. That was great. I saw that, too. Yeah. Also, a uh, big shout-out to Bebops. Big shout-out to Lola's. Thank both of them for uh, their donations. And uh, big shout-out to uh, Evelyn. Yep, What's Evelyn. This? And uh, it's... Tips we just, for all. We call it tips called? for all. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And all the money goes to their family to help with medical bills. Cause, yeah. Uh, Ashlyn, the mother, she just basically stopped her job to take care of yeah. Evelyn full time. Like so we're just enough. helping them out. So it's a great family. Do we can help them out. Yep. Doing what we can for them. And thank you, Eric, for letting us uh, kind of preview, you know, your new bar. I'd like to thank you for being a guest on the uh, <laughs> the, 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 loo- <laughs> the loose meat, per se, of the Eric Sandwich <laughs> show. Yeah. You're like the Cresties in the bottom of the Long John Silver's box. I'm it's like, like, it's I'm like, like the, oh, they're cool, but you don't know. It's the sloppy you Joe that falls out of the bun. I'm, yeah. the, I'm the curly fry <laughs> in the bottom of a regular fry box. Yeah, you're like, good. ooh, I got that extra curly. You you're like when that. you take your finger across the bottom of the Bebop's box and get the residue. That's you. <laughs> I'm the res. You call me a residue? <laughs> yes. Jesus. That's correct. Um, uh, also, one more thing. I, I think we forgot to do this last week. Fuck Ankeny. Always. Fuck Always. Nebraska. And... Canada, you can, yeah, whatever. Also, um, if you don't clap during the intro, friends, there's something wrong with you. Because <laughs> every time I watch on HBO Max, it's and a I bold clap. statement with me as the guest, but I, continue. I clap every time. You not like friends? <laughs> I don't, don't clap. clap. <laughs> hard, hard on, look at this. God damn it. <laughs> Classic backfire. Also, uh, Big Bang Theory. There you go, there you go. <laughs> Big Bang Theory is still terrible, Cody. <laughs> I saw you post that, and that was uh, or tagged me in it. And the original post was funny, funny scenes from Friends. Was it the original post or that's the original post? Well, one I saw was funny things from Friends. What makes you think it was original? Because it was dated earlier than yours. Yeah, well, that was original. Mine was a little bit spicier, so they called me the Trinidad Scorpion. Ooh. Shout out Lola's. <laughs> You're an idiot. Yes. With that being said, uh, also thanks to all of our listeners, everyone on Spotify, Apple Podcast, YouTube. If you're listening to any of these platforms on here on another, just search Ask the 8-Ball Podcast. You can find us online, AskTheAppBallPodcast.com, social medias, Ask the 8-Ball Podcast, all the above. Yeah, Ask the yeah. please, please, uh, Twitter is Ask the 8-Ball Pod, uh, unfortunately, but. Yeah, once you start typing, it'll pop up, and yeah, yeah, you don't type good. it the way through. But, uh, yeah, please Android, like, might. share, comment. Let's try and, uh, we're, we're trying to really blow this thing up, so. Yeah, we appreciate you guys all. Thanks for, uh. Thanks for having me. Hey, yeah. and we'll see you next week with a very original, interesting, uh, episode. Yes, and. Shout to ch- Shout uh, Chummies. Chummy. Chummy. It's not Chummies. Ch- sorry, Chummy. October 16th. Thanks, guys. <laughs>